The Smart Board Revolution Google Plus Community presents a Smart Survival Guide. I'm your host, Matt Granger. This is part of the Adding Interactivity to Lessons and or Simplifying Lesson Creation with Widgets series. This episode is about the Random Letter and Random Number Generator widgets. In the My Content folder in your gallery, you'll find the widgets. Once they're installed, double-click or drag, and we'll start with the Random Letter Generator. The gear gives you your options. Now this happens from time to time where it doesn't show everything. I found that if I go to a new page and then come back and it reloads then everything works. So here are your options. You can spit out just vowels, consonants, or both. Uppercase, lowercase, or both. You can have more than one letter per click up to 30. And then the other option here, inject image letters. If that's checked you'll get the image of the letters just like they appear in the random generator. If you uncheck that, you just get a black text. Okay, so I put four letters per click, this box with the arrow, whenever several widgets have this, and that will put the output onto your notebook page. So it did shoot out four even though it doesn't show four at a time. So you could use this maybe for a spelling activity. Don't necessarily like that it shoots the letters way down there. Shoot the letters out until you can build some words. You could use it game. So in your groups, list all the adjectives that you can think of that start with the letter D or nouns or verbs. And I have a separate video of using this random letter generator along with the extreme collaboration add-on. So that's the random letter generator. There's also the random number generator. Looks very similar. Inject the image number. So that would be the one that shows up the, the actual image. You can put in a minimum value here, a maximum value for the numbers. How many numbers would come out per click? So very similar. You can do some math with them or students have numbers and you randomly select a number one at a time for something. Maybe you pick a target number, 75. And now is there a way that you can make an equation and then evaluate it and see if it's correct? 48 does not equal 75. So how would you write an inequality? Now that you know that it's there, I'm sure you'll think of plenty of ways to use the random letter and or the random number generator in your lessons.